Welcome to this quick video about Facebook pictures. You've probably noticed that sometimes Facebook chooses the wrong part of a picture for the thumbnail in the strip at the top of a page or in an album, like this. Here's the BBC's Apprentice page. Just at the top they seem to have something against foreheads and the reason is the image they've used is a tall portrait format picture and they haven't reckoned with Facebook's cropping. You can't edit the thumbnail in the photo strip at the top of a page, so this is the result. Obviously Facebook has to reshape pictures to fit the two places where they appear as thumbnails. It's not just photo strips in pages that get cropped. Uh, this on the left is from a friend of mine. He seems to be featuring his tie in this album thumbnail. And on the right is from a company page with the poor girl's eyes trimmed off nicely. In both these cases, if you click on the picture, you'll see their faces. But here's how to avoid the, the nasty cropping uh, in the first place. It's fairly predictable how Facebook is going to crop your pictures for photo strips at the top of Facebook pages. The examples here are taken from actual pictures on Facebook. The original image is in green and the purple box shows the area that was used by Facebook in the photo strip. The width of each thumbnail is three quarters of the full width. It's centred but ever so slightly to the right of centre. The borders at the top and bottom are selected automatically by Facebook so that the depth that's cropped at the bottom is three times as large as the height of the top cropping. Now if you use a portrait shot, Facebook loses less from the width but still maintains the same ratio between the top and bottom cropping. The bottom is again three times the depth of the crop when compared to the top. Now this is the case for the photo strip at the top of a page. In the gallery a little more of the width is cropped but if you upload an extremely tall and narrow image something a little odd occurs. On pages in the top photo strip at the top of the page it'll revert back to showing just three quarters of the width it sort of zooms in if you like. But in the photo gallery the thumbnail doesn't zoom in and you see the width you'd expect. So here the purple area shows the gallery thumbnail the choice that Facebook makes for a, an album and the brown area shows the thumbnail area that Facebook chooses for its photo strip. Obviously they're different so my advice is to crop tall pictures down before you upload them even if um, somewhere near the top like that is the uh, thumbnail that you'd like. Confusing isn't it? For help with your social media projects contact Amiable Consulting and also watch for the next video with tips on how to brand a Facebook page.